What's cracking, everybody? It's our Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle content. My hair is all over the place, and we are looking at a team today with Shadow Venusaur, Climbing to Legend, Mr. Tamagotcha, fellow content creator. Go give him a follow and a subscribe, or whatever it is they do these days, you kids. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check him out on YouTube. He's got a channel, does videos, uh, PvP content, etc. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the legend run that this man has gotten into the Great League here. Leaving it up to the last minute. Let's get into these games, y'all. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here and stall anymore. But anyway, let's get into these battles here. We've got Alolan Sand slash Shadow in the lead. Oh, it's got Powder Snow. Okay. That means that this is a lot better for the Jellicent. If it has Shadow Claw... It just rips that that health bar just gets chunked so much quicker. So having the resistance to the ice damage here really helps Jellicent shore up this matchup. Now the opponent has a choice here whether they want to call a, a Shadow Ball or a Surf. And they decide to call the bait. It's not a bait trainer. That is a full on Shadow Ball. And that means Jellicent now can get the farm down by shielding here. Which is really huge in this matchup because having that energy coming out the other end is really nice. In comes a Sableye. Now we're going to go for the Surf here. as We're going to be able to make two Surfs actually quite comfortably so jellicent gets the shield as well and immediately pivoting into the vigoroth here vigoroth getting rock slide this season really makes this matchup against sableye much better than it used to be sableye could win this matchup because of the foul plays and how it was able to outpace to those uh because of the bulldoze being as high energy cost as it is but now the rock slide makes this a much easier matchup for vigoroth all it really has to do is land one rock slide and it's off to the races so Getting a no shield the foul play here, and the opponent does come in with an Azumarill. And that Shadow Venusaur in the back is looking, licking his chops as soon as it goes down. I'm, that Venusaur is in. There's no way. Venusaur comes right in and starts tearing into the Azumarill. And the opponent says, nah, dude, I'm done. Good game. Getting into the next battle, we got Jellicent into a Chestnut. Bit of a core breaker here. The Vigoroth is going to come in, though, as the opponent does have to get to a charge move for that superpower. Could shield up here, and the energy on Vigoroth typically tends to go very, very far in a lot of places. And even against this Lantern here, the spamminess of the body slams is not to be trifled with. The opponent will have to go through at least a shield to win this matchup because of the energy lead that this Vigoroth now has. Even though they got the shield, that doesn't mean a thing. And also, worth noting, Shadow Venusaur, Venusaur in general, with the Grass Poison typing, completely walls the moveset from Chestnut. So this is going to be a very close game here. Or, well, maybe not. That's going to depend on what's in the back, honestly. But this is a close matchup here. The opponent does decide to give up a shield, and now they're going to get farmed down, but not before getting a move off here. Looking to throw a Surf, most likely, into this Venusaur here. Yep, Surf is not going to do a whole lot of damage, and the opponent now has a Galissapod. Well, this just got really awkward. I don't see a whole lot of Galissapod in the Great League, but having to shield up an Aerial Ace is not a fun time. Aerial Ace grabbing that shield, immediately going to go for the Frenzy Plant here. I think that, I don't know if that was, I don't know, I can't tell if it was CMP or not. Uh, but opponent also shields up, but going to be able to get to the Frenzy Plant much quicker as the opponent did need another five to get to that Aerial Ace, and the Frenzy Plant was much closer. So taking out with the Frenzy Plant. <laughs> And Chestnut's about to meet its doom as Sludge Bomb loaded up will definitely KO from this range of the Shadow. At least I think it will anyway. Boom! Who was worried? It KOs. Good game. Getting into the next battle here. Number three, Jellicent against Ma Oh no, dude. Not the Mandibuzz, immediate switch into the Vigoroth, hoping to be able to keep this... Wow, that's actually best case scenario, the opponent staying in with the Mandibuzz. If they actually don't swap out, that's huge. No, they're going to go in with the Zoomerol. Unfortunate, but that will put the Jellicent in a position where it might be able to get some energy. And Surfs do add up against Mandibuzz, even though it does pretty much counter up uh, Jellicent due to that Ghost Typing being a dark, bulky Dark type. Um, Jellicent can still fight back with the Surfs. It makes those ma matchups much closer than you might expect. And Vigoroth is very fine to just let it go here. If we can come in... Oh, we're coming in with the Venusaur. Okay, well, you know what? Sludge Bomb's also heard of Amanda Buzz, so I've been told. Looking to catch the Ice Beam on the Jellicent. That is a very nice catch. Very good use of the Venusaur here. Being able to get ahead on energy like that in a matchup like this is going to be huge. Now, the opponent knows they can come in with the Amanda Buzz, so they get some energy back on their Azumarill and come up with the Amanda Buzz. Because the uh, trainer Tamagotchi here, because he decided to swap like that, 
Now he's locked into the matchup for 60 seconds. So unfortunately, that means Jellicent is going to end up taking a Dark Pulse or having the shield here. But look how low the Mandibuzz is getting from those serves. I'm telling you, they add up after a bit. So <coughs> the hope here is that the opponent may be weak in the back to the Venusaur. As they've got a flying type in the lead. Most often what happens is they're strong to something in the lead. They may be weak to it in the back. So... Opponent goes for the shield. They are definitely weak in the back to this Venusaur, but the thing is, is because they have Snarl, they may get energy quickly, but the damage they're doing with these fast moves is almost non-existent. And giving up a second shield here on the Venusaur, I think you have to. I'm reading that they're weak in the back. Goes and lets the Aerial Ace go, and it's a Whiskash in the back. Oh, man, that shield's looking real good right now. Opponent shielding up the Shadow Whiskash. Are they going to be able to get to a move? Absolutely not. But now we're going to shield. <laughs> now we're going to shield. Yes, we will. And we're going to have to see if the opponent can catch. No, they can't. Venusaur going to get the move off here. I'm going to hit it anyway. I don't care. Boom! And then they're going to come in with the Jellicent, hoping to get a move off here. Do we get to the Surf? No, the opponent throws the energy. Does that mean that the opponent gets farmed down by the Venusaur? This is going to be huge if the HP is if it's got enough HP. It's a simul KO. Oh, no. So close. Good game. <laughs> I was as soon as I saw them swap out with that Azu, I was like, dude, there's 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 a solid chance it's like Whiskash or Lantern, something in the back this week to Venusaur. So getting into the next game, a pretty solid matchup here. Jellicent and a Dugong. Basically, the opponent has to throw drill runs to do any meaningful damage here, and they just eat shadow balls for breakfast. Now, we haven't got around to lunchtime yet. That's gonna be about when Vigoroth comes in, but for right now. Uh, we're going to sit here and just enjoy our breakfast. Uh, the uh, Dugong will outpace to the next move here. So catching it on the Vigoroth. Now it's lunchtime. Vigoroth has come in, and he's just he's hungry. He's got his fork, his knife, and he's getting ready. And a Polyrath comes in and tries to bully Vigoroth out of his lunch money. What an absolute disgrace, this Polyrath. But this is good because the Jellicent now can come in and get some good energy here and or just take this thing out. It does completely wall the Polyrath here. So maybe Jellicent can do a job of getting the lunch money back from the Polyrath, maybe hand it off to the Venusaur, maybe Venusaur goes out for dinner, has a nice time with his... I'm not going to assume it's gender. Has a nice time with its partner, okay? Don't judge me. I, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be... Trying to be very good about... <laughs> I don't know, dude. Anyway, um... Opponent gonna have to shield up a Surf if they want to survive here, possibly. Getting pretty low with the Jellicent, but still pretty comfortable here. And gonna... Oh, we tried to snipe, but we couldn't get it. The opponent swaps into the Dugong, and now we're gonna go for the Frenzy Plant. And this is what happens when you eat dinner, folks. Venusaur chomping the Dugong. Not able to get the farm down, though. They are gonna be forced to deal with a Icy Wind debuff, which is really not ideal here, unfortunately. Still being locked into this matchup, but still having Jellicent in the back to pivot out and clear that debuff later in the game is going to be helpful. So we're gonna see what the opponent wants to come in with and see that Whiskash is Venusaur's dessert. Oh, dude, I'm ready for this. This is all I needed today. Yes, sir. Boom. That's it. Get your Polyrath on out of here. That was great. A full three-course meal, ladies and gentlemen. Good game. I don't know where I was going with the meals, dude. That was... <laughs> Another Shadow Sand Slash on the lead. This one has the Shadow Claw, so that means this matchup is significantly worse for the Jellicent here. Going straight for the Shadow Ball, though, and the opponent swaps into an Azumarill to try and catch a potential Surf. Trainer, that is not a Surf. That is a Shadow Ball. And because they have Bubble on the fast move, they can go ahead and stay in this matchup. Now, because Vigoroth is in the back... Tamagotchi's looking to get alignment here. Looking to beat the Azumarill here, and the opponent shields up, and Tamagotchi, all he has to do is be able to take out this Azumarill with the Vigoroth here. Now, the opponent's going to have to go for a play rough. It's going to do some decent damage, but it's not going to do quite enough to take out the Jellicent. Um, but Vigoroth, if Vigoroth can get aligned to the... Uh, to the um, Alolan Sand Slash. There we go. My brain just lost it for a minute. Um, if Vigoroth can get a line to the Alolan Sand Slash, those counters will rip through it very quickly and leave it with really not much to be able to do. So able to go just for Surfs here now because of how low that Azumarill is, and they likely just let this go. No, they shield it! That's actually a huge call by the opponent, noticing that Tamagotcha is playing for that alignment here, and they're trying to as well, but he goes ahead and lets it go. We're going to have to see if that was a mistake or not, as the Vigoroth does get a counter down. Hopefully with the shield advantage, it's not going to matter. Lantern's coming in. Hot! Body slams going out quick, and we're going to have to see 
if the Sand Slash is going to be able to survive the Onslaught of Frenzy Plant, it's going to save a move here, and immediately the opponent swaps into the Venusaur. Now, I think that the win condition here is going to be just letting the Venusaur go. I definitely agree with this play. Are we still able to get to a Frenzy Plant anyway? Of course, because Shadow Venusaur is an absolute god. So Shadow Venusaur is getting to the Frenzy Plant, taking that with, or taking the Vigoroth low enough so that one counter is going to be enough to KO. And the opponent has a Lantern, a Shield Disadvantage, and y'all know I hate this stupid fish, so I'm happy to see this thing get dunked on. The opponent doesn't even want to play the game. They just decided, you know what? You win, fam! I'm going to quit my app. That's just an unfortunate display from the game. Now, I again, I, I don't want to assume that the opponent got salty and closed the wrap, but just hit the surrender button, man. This is, you're not, like, nobody's getting butthurt about this. It's just annoying, and maybe that's all they're going for. I don't know. Well, collecting a 4-0-1 because there was a tie, so there was no losses in that set. So 4-0-1 set to get close to Legend. And here in the final set, we get a miserable lead with a core breaker called Noctowl. And the opponent staying in here, going for the uh, Sky Attack as soon as they get it. This is really, really bad for this team. Now, the nice thing here is that a Lantern has come in. So it's an optimal time for the Vigoroth to just kind of let itself go down and give the Venusaur a ton of farm. Yes, Noctowl core breaks Jealous and Venusaur, but... Sludge Bomb's hurt, and the opponent has decided to also give a shield up for this matchup. I think they're looking to fully farm down this Vigoroth, so giving up one shield here is going to allow them to do that. But Venusaur's farm is now, unfortunately, far, far less than it was. But Venusaur comes in and it absorbs all this energy. Doesn't matter if they throw Thunderbolt, doesn't matter if they throw Surf, doesn't matter at all. Jellicent doesn't want to see this, but... Thunderbolt plus a Surf is going to do quite a bit of damage, but at this point, maybe saving the shields for the Jellicent, hoping to get a shield off. Ooh, okay, coming. All right, now this is some... All right, now this is getting... Everything's changing now. Hold on a minute. Shadow Ball into the uh, Shadow Dragonair that just came in. Does the opponent want to give up another shield so quickly, knowing that their Noctowl is a win condition here now that they know the entire team that Mr. tamagotchi has got? Shadow Ball absolutely claps the Denair. And now they're able to get some energy on the farm down. Two shields left. We'll see what happens here. I don't... I'm not confident that Tamagotchi is going to be able to pull out of this one, but I'm hoping he proves me wrong here. With a very, very low HP Venusaur and a Jellicent that's just getting farmed down by these moves, displaying very good patience and timing here, going for that Surf on that, uh, on that timing that they did. And now it's going to be up to Jellicent. But it gets farmed down. That's farmed down the Lantern. Wait a minute now. Now, now we have to shield. And can Venusaur get to a move? And if it can, that's going to be huge. Be oh, the opponent says I'm done. All right. Maybe they knew it. That was impressive. The opponent swapping there, I feel like, was definitely a way to get them a loss. But I think that... Oh, no. And now we have to deal with Jellicent. All right. Safe swap into Vigoroth. Opponent comes in with Giraffe Rig. Bro, the spice. I love it. I love to see spice like that. Gra Shadow, Shadow Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rigo. Here we go. All right. Body slams are going to hurt. This is not a matchup that, um, that Giraffe Rig wins unless it shields. So it's going to have to. And once again, displaying great patience with that timing. Able to go for a body slam here to force the second shield off this Giraffe Rig for alignment because that is exactly what they're looking for. But the problem with that is is that they're going to have a bad time here because Venusaur, Shadow Venusaur with two shields is about to have a very, very fun time. Now, that Thunderbolt hurts, dude. And they're going to have a Psychic Fangs coming out. At this point, I agree with this. Let it go. Let Venusaur just, just put it all on Venusaur. We don't know what the other Pokemon is yet, but sometimes when you just when you have an issue like this where you get hardcore broken in the or you get you get you get hard countered in the lead and a swap comes in that you can't really do much about you can't flip it sometimes all you got to do is put two shields on your pokemon in the back and hope that it makes a move and here we go here comes the sweep going to shield up a body slam as it comes through and the opponent is going to have to see well Maybe what they have in the back does not want to... No, it doesn't want to see Shadow Venusaur whatsoever. Sometimes it's a good idea to just put it all on the back of your Pokemon in the, in the very back here. Give it the shields it needs to sweep. Let the Venusaur cook. Venusaur just shields up this Ice Beam, farms down, and just delivers the crushing final blow to this Lickitung to take it out and seize game number two, I think? Two or three? <laughs> a good game. That's a tip y'all can bring home with you is sometimes you have a game that's going real bad. 
sometimes all you have to do is just put two shields on whatever's in the back and sometimes that's all and if you don't win you know if they have a heart like if, for example if that trainer had like skarmory in the back for the venusaur then you just weren't meant to win and you have to move on and that's okay it happens to me too it happens to everybody it just it is what it is but that like i said that's okay <laughs> hurricane coming out from the pelipper trying to call the bait or just noting that they don't need to necessarily um shield this particular uh matchup but i definitely think that that was a bait call as the opponents love to go for weather balls whenever you want to shield and then whenever you know shield it just happens to be the hurricane i hate i, I love when that happens but getting two shields here from pelipper now vigoroth's gonna come in and could get to a rock slide before the opponent gets the two moves but once again Putting it all on the back of Venusaur. One shield for the Venusaur. Just going to let this uh, Vigoroth do his job. Now, this is very, very dangerous. A Scavalier could counter down this Vigoroth. I don't know if we're getting to another charge move. It's going to be very close. Getting to the Body Slam. Opponent goes for the CMP. Oh, dude. But Venusaur, its damage is all double resisted by the typing. Does he go for the farm down? Yeah, I guess you have to. So going for the farm down here on the uh, on the vigor on the on the Venusaur here, not the uh, not the Vigoroth. Vigoroth went away. Oh, it's acid spray! Oh, dude, no! Going for the catch and reset. Gonna s absorb this energy, reset the debuff from the acid spray, and the opponent goes for another one and no bubbles it in order to get as a little bit of farm they can off this Pelipper, I imagine. But the thing is, Pelipper isn't ready to win CMP, but it doesn't matter because there's a wind cast in the back! Back-to-back -back frenzy plants, one-two punch! <laughs> I love it, dude! One shot that stinky fish, get it out of here, and bye-bye, Pelipper. <laughs> Excellent, good game. That's what I want to see. That's what I need to see. All right, getting into the next game. That's a very good name, Skill Triumphs. That's a very good name. Now, this person, unfortunately, getting hard countered in the lead here. Jellicent into Skeledurge. Not a good matchup at all for this Skeledurge. But you can't swap out because Venusaur and Vigoroth really don't appreciate this matchup. So, this is the ideal alignment. You want to keep it. But the opponent is apparently core broken in the back. Having to shield up a bait here feels so bad. But... You cannot let this Skeleturge get to the back line. You have to use Jellicent to finish it off. So opponent deciding to give in two shields to this Jellicent here. And I don't think they're going to be able to get to another charge move. I, unless the, uh, yeah. I mean, even though they get to the Disarming Voices, now they go in with a Jellicent. And at this point, Jellicent versus Jellicent. Baby Cakes is calling. Welcome to the video, Baby Cakes. Going to be able to come in with the Vigoroth here and absorb what could be a Shadow Ball. And we are on a call with Baby Cakes right now. Everybody say hi to Baby Cakes. I mean, no disrespect, but... <laughs> if it's on the video, you're going to have to deal with it. You send it in, you're going to have to deal with it. It's okay, though. It's okay. I have nothing but respect for all these people. Everybody. And then we get the Rock Slide off immediately. I don't know if that was a CMP or if that was a fast move denial, but the Rock Slide's gonna take care of the Skeleturge, and the opponent has a Shadow Vic in the back, and boy, are they about to be sad when they see this Venusaur come in and sludge bomb their face off as there is nothing in the Shadow Victory Bell move pool that can deal with Venusaur. Not a thing. Get out of here. Goodbye. Sludge Bomb. <laughs> You dirty cheater. <laughs> you don't cheat me out of a boom like that. You play that game out like you need it. You will like it. Oh, no. Hard, hard, hard thing in the lead here. This is, this is terrible. Shadow Venusaur in the lead. Not ideal at all. Gonna have to shield no matter what because this thing absolutely destroys this team. The opponent bringing out the Shadow Venusaur knowing it's the cheat code in the Great League. And that's going to be it, man. I don't know. We're going to have to see what they have in the back. Thankfully, Vigoroth is able to... Oh, no! They got Annihilate in the back? Dude, what are you supposed to do against this person? You just lose, man. They're going to farm all the way down. Rock Slide, not even going to get to the Rock Slide. Jellicent can come in, but it's going to have to either give up its final shield or eat a Shadow Ball, dude. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Shadow Ball almost completely takes it out, dude. Going for the Surf because it's all he can get to before the opponent can get to a Night Slash here. Surf going out. Going to hopefully take out the Annihilate. The opponent gives their final shield to the Annihilate. Venusaur is going to come in and try to make the magic happen. So the opponent is out of shields. The Venusaur 
Looking pretty healthy right now, I believe. But is a sludge bomb going to be enough? It doesn't matter because the opponent had the energy to get to the sludge bomb first. That is going to be very painful. Sludge bomb nearly taking it out. And Tamagotchi decides to concede. Unfortunately. <coughs> oh, goodness. I almost made it through the video without dying, folks. Getting legend rank 3002 ELO. Congratulations, Mr. Tamagotcha, for hitting it. Must have hit it over the weekend during Sinnoh Tour because that gorgeous sky effect was in effect the entire time. So huge congratulations, man. That was an incredible legend run. Shadow Venusaur is an absolute devastating force in the Great League. And if you have one, folks, it's worth it. I've used it. This thing just destroys people. However, I can see not wanting to use it in a Skarmory meta, but I'm not going to lie. There's a lot less Skarmory out than I thought, and Venusaur cooks. So, y'all have a good one. Hopefully, we're going to get the news for the new season. If you guys haven't already seen it, I'm uploading this on the same day as Pokemon Day. So, happy Pokemon Day, by the way. Completely forgot to put that at the beginning of the video. So, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, the next video what we put out is going to be for the new season update, talking all about it. And if you have not done so, subscribe to the channel so you're going to see that video as soon as it pops up. So, y'all have a good one. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.